Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. PNL Patreon family. Big up on yourself. I dropped two exclusive videos over on Patreon last night. One of the videos contains never seen before footages of the incident where the hoodlums stole the ATM machine at the total gas station at Darlistan in the parish of Westmoreland. Remember now, if you are not yet a member of the PNL Patreon family, click on the link in the description below and sign up. And for persons who are asking, no, I cannot add you to Patreon. You have to click on the link and go over there and add yourself. Being a part of the PNL Patreon family is your way of supporting this channel on a monthly basis. Now, that member of the PNL Patreon family, her name is Doreen. Doreen is from Riverside in the parish of Anova, but she is now living in New York in the United States of America. Queen Doreen. She's a former district constable in the parish of Anova. Doreen, you are celebrating your 60th birthday. So sorry I was unable to attend your party last night. We know that you had a blast. Queen Doreen, happy birthday to you. Big up yourself. Alright? So I'm told by a member of Team Hakai that the next time I'm visiting Falmouth in the parish of Trelawney and I want some good food to eat. I should go to the Falmouth Police Station. I am told that the chef at the canteen at the Falmouth Police Station is one of the best chefs in Trelawney. Chef, Team Akai said I should big you up. And they also told me that the corn pork that you cook <laughs> this morning, they might tell me say it sell off. So here we are now, Chef. The next time I'm passing through Falmouth, may I go make a stop. Alright? Now, there is a section in the new road traffic act requiring that drivers put a child seat in their taxis so that they can carry children under certain age. There has been a backlash. Here is what Assistant Commissioner of Police, Gary McKenzie, had to say about the issue. Listen to this. Since the passage of the new road traffic act and regulations, there have been concerns concerning the use of child restraint systems and the car seats, especially by public passenger vehicle operators and drivers. We also note that based on those concerns, the authorities have indicated that they are reviewing the matter. As a result of this ongoing review, the police will use their discretion in relation to the seat belts and the child restraint systems and will allow public passenger vehicles to operate as it were under the old law until that review has been completed. So, so let me ask you something. And this is what I don't understand. The new Road Traffic Act, it would have been making the rounds for a long while now. It would have been through the lower and the upper house. There would have been feedback from different taxi associations. So, how come? Only never see that section there. How come? <laughs> ah boy. Now, there was another gun find at the wharf in Montego Bay yesterday. Here is what Deputy Commissioner of Police, Fitz Bailey, had to say about this latest find. Listen to this. During a joint operation between the Jamaica Constable Force, Jamaica Custom, and our international partners, a total of 59 firearms were recovered at Freeport, Montego Bay. The firearm consists of five rifles and 54 handguns. There were also 101 assorted rounds of ammunition found. This operation is considered to be an intelligence-led operation with the several stakeholders and partners involved. And we have strengthened the partnership between the JCF and other entities within Jamaica. And the results have been quite significant. We have seen, for example, the recent seizure of a significant amount of cocaine, two since the beginning of the year, or last year and this year. Prior to this seizure, there was a 22 firearm that were seized. 
at this exact location as well. So the partnership is continuing and we continue to strengthen our intelligence capability within the JCF. The investigation in relation to both fines continues and we believe that at the end of the day we will successfully prosecute those who are behind sending these illegal weapons. These weapons are weapons of destruction. They are not sent to shoot birds, they are sent to shoot human beings. And when you consider within the past two or three weeks, we have seized in excess of 85 firearms. We do not manufacture firearms in Jamaica. When we consider the destruction that these firearms can cause, we are really appealing to the public that whenever you get information regarding firearms, tell us. We will do the necessary in identifying and locating those who are responsible. We here on this channel, we want to say congratulations to all those who were involved. Job well done. Now, that would love. <laughs> On your screen his name you know sometimes you have to take bad things back laugh you know <laughs> that hoodlum on your screen his name is herbert wallace but he's popularly known as ricky ricky is living at riverton city in kingston ricky he's now on the hunts be a police most wanted list and here is why on sunday november 20 2022 hoodlums armed with guns they went to a business place at Coleyville Avenue in Kingston and joked down the persons who were there. They proceeded to rob them of cash and other valuables. During the robbery, one of the hoodlums, he mistakenly squeezed the trigger for the gun that he was carrying. <laughs> the persons who were being robbed, they were surprised when they saw this man bawling out for pain and bleeding. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape. Now, when they were gone, it was realized that the hoodlum who was balling out, it was actually one of his fingers that he had shot off. He ran away, leaving that finger. The police, they were called and they secured the finger and they sent it to the forensic lab for testing. It was then found out that the finger belonged to Ricky. Ricky has had run-ins with the law before and his fingerprint was already in the system. So, Nine Finger Ricky, you little piece of nastiness, you are now wanted by the police. <laughs> this next incident, it took place yesterday afternoon. Friday, February 3, 2023, about 2.30. It took place at the cell block at the Savannah Lamar Police Lockup. Where did I say this incident took place? Now, this is what we are learning. Two male prisoners in the lockup, they are both facing gun charges. We are told that one of them is called Chad. He's said to be in his early 30s and he's living in the Three Miles River, George's Plain area of Westmoreland. The other one, he's called O'Brien and he's said to be in his late teens. It is said that he's living in the Savannah Lamar area. The allegations are that both of them, when an argument developed, this argument, it led to a fight and it is said that Chad, he pulled a knife and juke up, juke up O'Brien. O'Brien, he received stab wounds to his left hand and the left side of his chest. An alarm was raised and the police officers who were on duty, they intervened. O'Brien, he was rushed to a nearby hospital where he was treated and admitted. <laughs> ah boy. This next incident, it took place from Monday, January 30, but it's never too late to report on these types of incidents. It took place at Kinole District in the Malvern area in the parish of St. Elizabeth. We are learning that about minutes after 7 o'clock. Early Monday morning, January 30, residents of Kinole, they stumbled upon the lifeless body of a man. He was dressed in a blue jeans pants a yellow and white shirt and a pair of red shoes. He had chap wounds to his head and his left shoulder. As a matter of fact, we are told that his left hand was missing. I'm not sure whether or not it has been found as yet. Now, PNL Patreon family, I'm gonna show you the photo of how this man was dealt with. It is too grimy to be posted on 
YouTube. This man, he was identified as Brian Blair, but he's popularly known as Rug. Rug is 42 years old and he's said to be a farmer. He lived in the same Kinoul district at Malvern. We are also told that Rug, he was last seen alive the previous night, Sunday night, about 10.30. From all indication, Rug was killed minutes after he was last seen alive. We are also learning that the police, they are searching for a person of interest in this case. His name is Marvin Saman. We are told that the police, they carried out some raids trying to find him, but he was not found. If any of you know where Marvin is hiding, please pass on the intelligence, the mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to do it. Also, if you are over here watching our video and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button. As also, hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be the first to be notified. And coming up later on, remember that yesterday I spoke with Kemar Deans. He made some allegations against the chef who he was working for. I spoke with the chef and I'm going to be dropping that video later on. Stand by for that. Now, in the final story for today, this one took place yesterday afternoon. Friday, February 3, 2023, about 4.30. It took place at Mall Road at Rosites in the parish of St. James. Now, this is what we are learning. A man. His name is Methuselah Scarlet, but he's popularly known as Bigger. He is 45 years old and he's said to be a tailor for many, many years. We are told that he would see Bigger on his veranda at his house at Mall Road doing what he does best on a daily basis, sewing. Yesterday afternoon, Bigger, he was doing just that. He was on his veranda sewing some clothes. A family member was inside of the house. We are told that that family member heard a barrage of gunshots being fired in the yard. When the shooting subsided, the family member went and made checks. There was Bigger on the veranda, laying on his right side in front of his sewing machine in a pool of blood. The police were called and when they inspected Bigger, he had gunshot wounds to his head and his upper body. From all indication, Bigger he died on the spot. We are told that when the police processed this crime scene, 13 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Papa in News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick Silver Sin. Yeah, I'm told, man, I'm here, 